Welcome back to Chippo Fishing. Today, I want to try to show you how to turn chicken nuggets into catfish nuggets. And we're going to start with a little bit of, uh, we're going to use strawberry jello, a little uh, chick boneless chicken breast on special, and a Ziploc bag. So that's how we're going to do it. And you're going to need a little knife too to slice and dice. Uh, generally, we're going to cut smaller baits. Big bait, big fish doesn't always uh, come true. So uh, we're going to give them some bite-sized nuggets and let's see. Welcome back to Chippo Fishing. Today's mission, catfish bait. I'm going to show you how to turn chicken nuggets into catfish nuggets we're going to start with a little, little knife some jello we're sporting strawberry flavored some chicken breast we even went all out because it was on special it was uh, boneless and a plastic bag so that's how we're going to start and I'll get ready to show you what's going on here in a second okay we're going to start with your Ziploc bag and our strawberry jello. Open it up. You do not need to add water. The moisture from the from the chicken will help it to absorb into the chicken and activate the jello. Uh, whether it's so you're going to sprinkle a little bit into the bag bottom of the bag and then we're going to put some nuggets on top and then we're going to uh, uh, put a little more on uh, jello on there so I guess the best thing to do and bigger bigger baits does not always mean bigger fish so we're going to cut somewhat like this Okay, so we we'll put about a quarter of it there. Then we're gonna put these in here on top. Well, I guess my knife isn't that sharp as thought as I thought it was. I'm just sort of sprinkle them around a little bit and then sprinkle a little bit more on top. Uh, it might be good to put this in overnight. Uh, however, some folks are saying just a few hours. So we're going to diagonal it right here like this. And sprinkle this in. And then after we put it in, I'm going to give it a good shake. Uh, this is a new style bait for me, um, but watching some of the videos is close to almost all the rage. So we're going to try it out this afternoon, tonight. Let's see what we got with it. So we're going to put a little bit of that right there. Sprinkle a little, a little more Kool-Aid on it. And then our last bait. short and we're going to cut them in half. We have to double up. We find that they're liking more. We will. So 
So there we go. Mix it up a little bit. And that's going to be our catfish bait. The more it absorbs, the uh, deeper the color. Uh, and that, mmm, smell a little strawberry in there. So after it uh, absorbs, it'll actually become quite bright red. So that's how we make making baits today. And we'll see later if it works. Just want to pass this on to y'all. It's another option. Thanks for joining me on Chippo Fishing.